Many of our cities have a common headache, and that is traffic congestion. Uh, too many cars, very limited road space, and very bad driving behavior of Pinoy's. Uh, because of this, there is public clamor for our local planners and engineers to come up with effective traffic management schemes. And in the search for these uh, effective traffic management schemes, it is commonplace in our LGUs to try out what we call the social experiment or the inefficient trial and error implementation of schemes. And normally, it would end up being, being very costly, it will have unsuccessful outcomes, and uh, there will be public criticism. So the, our local government units need a tool. They lack a tool and the capability to evaluate traffic management schemes prior to implementation. So there is a need for a smarter, evidence-based, and less costly way of making traffic management decisions. So as a technological solution, we developed a traffic simulation software called LocalSim. It is designed to be used by road engineers and traffic administrators as a decision support system for traffic management. This technology will enable traffic managers to have an evidence-based analysis and also an objective evaluation of traffic management schemes. So this can minimize the trial and error implementation. So in using local SIM, we replicate the road network. Uh, we would be needing a guide map to uh, trace the road geometry as well as the number of lanes. We would, be, we would need the number of vehicles as well as the type of vehicles. And uh, an illustration of a replication of the Quezon Avenue and Edsa intersection is shown. Our objective is to be able to uh, experiment and test which alternative solution will best alleviate congestion. So this is a sample scenario analysis for our sample intersection. I start with the base case or the do-nothing scenario. We observe that traffic here is being managed by a traffic signal, wherein the go signal is being rotated uh, with a specific sequence, starting from the vehicles from the south approach, then the east, then the north, and then the west approach. Uh, the sequence continues as a cycle. It takes four minutes, and we call that the cycle time. So in this particular uh, intersection, there is undesirable level of delay and travel time. The stopped vehicles actually form queues or lines, and that is the cause of the undesirable level of delay. So we want to improve the situation. We want to propose some kind of alternative solution. One thing we can do is to change the sequence of the go indication. It is observed in this intersection that there are many left turners from EDSA. So we include in the sequence an exclusive go signal for the left turners. However, after the simulation experiment, we can see that there seems to be no significant improvement in traffic flow. We still see long queues of waiting vehicles. Another alternative scenario would be to modify the cycle time. Uh, cycle times that are very long or even very short can actually add to the delay. So in this scenario, we would like to reduce the cycle time from the original four minutes to only three minutes. And after simulation, uh, the, it is, we have a positive result that there is a significant change or improvement in traffic flow. So we objectively conclude that scheme number two is the more, uh, more significant alternative or the alternative that we can implement because it significantly reduced the travel time and delay compared with the base case. So this example shows us how local SIM can uh, analyze traffic, specifically traffic signal improvement. There are various traffic management schemes, such as those shown in this list, and local SIM is able to simulate all of them. Local SIM is also designed to explicitly replicate the Filipino driving behavior. For example, our tendency to drive too closely with the front vehicle, as well as our propensity to do a lot of lane changing and swerving. Our decision makers may also, find, uh, may also be happy to know that this technology is inexpensive compared with other commercially available softwares developed in other countries. In fact, we are pushing for this technology to be issued free for our local government units. So ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to try out our product. 
We are eager to collaborate and try this out in your cities. And together, let's move forward towards a smarter way of solving our traffic problem headaches. Thank you very much for your attention.